Now let's do an example of fixed second law. Remember, that's for non-steady state thermal transport when the rate is changing over time. How about this question? It says, if a diamond at room temperature is placed on a hot plate where the surface is heated to 100 degrees Celsius at time t equals zero, how long would it take for the diamond to reach 80 degrees Celsius one millimeter from the surface? The thermal diffusivity of diamond is 11 centimeters squared per second. Give your answer in milliseconds. All right, so we can do this. We're going to use our expression for non-steady state heat transfer. And uh, one solution, the one solution that we learned about was this. And again, this only works when the surface stays at the same temperature and deeper than your material, it's at another temperature and you have a deep material. So whether this works or not for the diamond, we're going to assume it does. It says the following. It says the temperature at some position x minus your initial temperature divided by the temperature at the surface minus your initial temperature is going to be equal to 1 minus the error function of the position where you're making this measurement divided by 2 times the square root of alpha t. Okay? So if we plug in the position 1 millimeter, so that's 0 0.1 centimeter, so we're going to plug in 0 0.1 centimeter here, we're going to divide it by 2 times 11 centimeters squared per second multiplied by time, Okay, we're going to set, so 1 minus the error function of all that, we're going to set that equal to the left-hand side of the equation, which is 80 minus 25 degrees over 100 minus 25 degrees. Okay, therefore the error function of, we'll just call it z, everything inside, the, everything inside this parentheses here, we'll just call it z, that's going to be equal to 0 0.2666. All right. So now we can use our error, error, error function table to figure out what the value of z should be if the value of error function of z is 0 0.2666. Well, right over here we notice that it's going to be between 0.2 and 0.25 because 0.25 is larger than that, 0.2 is less, so what value do we use? We have to do a linear interpolation. Okay, so we could solve for x here and we find that x is equal to 0.2408 okay x is z so 0.2408 is equal to 0 0.1 centimeter divided by 2 times the square root of 11 centimeters squared per second times so when we plug in and solve for t I find that t is equal to 3.92 milliseconds. So diamond is actually a really good conductor of heat. It did not take it long at all, milliseconds, for that to basically get heated uh, to the same temperature as the surface all the way a millimeter into the sample. So that's an example of how you would do fixed second law for non-steady state thermal transport in the material.